Skateboarding games are as fun as a video game can get, and who better to slap on your cover than skateboarding visionary Tony Hawk and a cast of pro skaters from all over the world. Well, the folks at Neversoft who are responsible for the high-flying Tony Hawk Pro Skater series were smart enough to know that that's not all it takes to make a skateboarding game that would entertain not only teenagers who read too much Thrasher magazine. The first installment, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, flew into the PlayStation like a kamikaze pilot and even turned non-gamers into believers. It was only fitting to make a second, one that boasted bigger levels, more tricks, creative and colorful level design, more skaters added to the roster, a more expansive and fun multiplayer system, and double the level goals needed to advance to the next level. This is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, developed by Neversoft and published by gaming giants Activision. Yes, Tony Hawk 2 gives fans of the series more kickflips and rail grinds, everything that the first one had to offer. The development team was smart enough to know not to reinvent the wheel that had worked so well in the past. You'll be skating in locales all across the world and facing new challenges in the revamped career mode, where you'll be responsible not only for completing goals, but collecting those sweet dollar bills. Goals are probably the most noticeable change to the framework of each level. Let's take a look at the California High School. There's plenty of collectibles to find like the usual letters of S-K-A-T-E, along with finding those elusive hall passes and having to wall ride the school bells. You must also grind certain rails which may be hard to find if you aren't familiar with skateboarding language. Added to the fundamentals of the Tony Hawk skateboarding system are manuals, where you pop a nose or tail wheelie. This is a crucial addition because it allows you to string together combos more efficiently on the ground, allowing you to find a rail after you've landed a grab through the air, which, of course, means more points. The more conscientious skater will also find that there are considerably more gaps in each level, so many in fact that certain goal completions are dependent on you finding them. Most of all, cash is king in each level and is much like experience points in that you spend them for increased stats that can be maxed out. Play through the whole game and you might be landing that fabled 900 degree spin in no time. I'm a big fan of custom creations in the Tony Hawk franchise and Tony Hawk 2 performs admirably in this category. Here I've created Pago Man, the baddest afro clad brother you can find at the skate park. You can also create the skate park of your dreams. You'll be given a certain amount of space to construct as many rails, bowls, quarter pipes, half pipes, and other obstacles as you can. If you're satisfied with your work, you can give it a test skate to see if it's up to your standards. It's also important to point out that Neversoft had the foresight to let you experiment with a multitude of levels if you need some inspiration. I'm pretty sure that my skate park needs some work. <laughs> Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 is the kind of game that I'd play with anyone who hasn't picked up a controller in their life. Again, it's not just about skateboarding, it's about goal-oriented gameplay that will have you hooked for hours. It was one of the last great creations for the PlayStation as creation for games for the system slowly sputtered out at the eve of the advent of the great system's successor, the PlayStation 2, and a title that would set the pace for subsequent installments in the series that just kept getting better.